Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this video, I am going to discuss about normality test using SPSS software. A normality test is used to determine whether sample data has been drawn from a normally distributed population. Then what is normal distribution? The normal distribution is always symmetrical about the mean which looks like a curve, bell curve. Okay, see this graph. We have three curves. One is in blue color, the other is red and green. The blue color is normal distributed data which is symmetrical above the mean whereas the other two curves are not symmetrical and they are not distributed above the mean. So the data which is normally distributed about symmetrically about the mean is called as normal distribution. Here the green color is not normally distributed and a red is not normally distributed. Now let us do normal distribution test using SPSS software. I am taking an example of shampoo data in this case and I want to test the normality for expenditure variable. This is expenditure variable. Uh, this variable is amount of monthly expenditure on shampoo. I want to test whether this data is normally distributed or not. In order to do this normality test, the data should be continuous data or it is also called scale data. If the data is nominal or data is ordinal, we cannot use this type of data to normality test. The data is scale data, then only we can use the data for normality test. Now I will start the analysis. We go for analyze. In this uh, descriptive statistics, explore, select the required variable, transfer towards a dependent list. In statistics button, we can see the conference interval is 95%. And in plot, we click this button called normality and histogram. Now once I say OK, now I will go for the output window. In this, in order to test whether this expenditure variable is normally distributed or not, we need to check two important features that is skewness and kurtosis. You can note here, skewness value is 0 0.416, its standard error is 0. 241 whereas kurtosis its value statistical value 0 0.173 and the standard error is 0 0.478 basing on these values we can determine whether the data is normally distributed or not okay i have calculated uh, two calculations one is skewness divided by standard error is equal to 0 0.416 divided by 0 0.241 so you can see these values this 0 0.416 is skewness value and 0 0.241 is standard error value so if I calculate I got 1.762 in the same way, we must do calculation for uh, kurtosis also. For kurtosis, kurtosis divided by standard error is equal to 0 0.173 divided by 0 0.478. You can see this is 0 0.173 divided by 0 0.478. We got the value of 0 0.361 which is between minus 1.962 plus 1.96. If this Z value lies between minus 1.96 2 plus 